but I know this one was a bit of a shorter devlog uh, this time around. I do apologize, I've just been so busy lately and I've got a few things coming up uh, in the next few days. So I haven't had much time to work on the game or record much for YouTube. That said, if you guys find yourself coming back to the channel uh, or you're enjoying the devlogs, consider subscribing, it's free um, and you know, you've got nothing to lose. <laughs> it really helps the channel grow uh, and lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos that I put out. So that said, uh, thanks for watching this one guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and peace. Yes. Welcome back to another devlog, everybody. Uh, so this is something a little bit different than just a character uh, this time around <laughs> in this devlog. I got a little bit bored from developing the character. I wanted to shake things up a little bit and move on to some world generation. So as you can see, we now have Sky Islands generating. There'll be a time lapse um, showing the long and laborious process. It, it took about three days to be able to generate this which I'm still a little bit iffy about. Basically what it's doing is it's generating all the points for the worlds um, using a bunch of epic math and then it renders each cube, each, re uh, each cube interpolates the edge, blah blah blah. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how much cubes work. If you're interested, uh, I can make a separate video on it another time. However, that said, I'm still not 100% sure if I want to use marching cubes. I've kind of generated the world like this for this devlog, however, looking at it, it not 100% sure if it fits the I guess the vibe of the game so not exactly sure the path I want to take with it um I do like the fact that we can glide around now um in islands which is quite cool that's pretty much what the point of the game was going to be uh well I mean there's more to it but that, that was going to be a big aspect of the game now obviously there's no trees and stuff spawning um however that comes later so there's a few options in terms of world generation. If for those on the Discord, link in the description, by the way, you already know the options. Uh, I've kind of asked in general chat. <laughs> but basically, option one is to keep it like this. Option two is to go and use um, normal, well, not normal, but like non-interpolated marching cubes. So without the um, smoothing. So it's just a little bit more blocky and angular, which could look cool. It'll look like the player's head, basically. Um, and there'll be a screenshot of that on screen now. Um, and then option, another, the other option, option number two, three, um, is to use cubes like in Minecraft. Um, the one reason I don't want to use cubes is because I know people are just going to say you're copying Minecraft, um, even though I'm not, blah, 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 you know. We're in the 21st century, that's how stuff works in the game development. <laughs> um, and the last option that I know of, and that I kind of like have planned, is to use hexagons. Now I've done hexagonal metal generation before, there'll be a screenshot on how it looks uh, on screen now. Um, there's a few things regarding it. It, it. Number one is obviously building is another hassle. Um, although it could work as like, you know, a civilization with hexagon building. Uh, I don't know. It, it's a bit um, of a dodgy mechanic to use hexagonal worlds, but it also looks kind of cool. I'm not sure how it would look in terms of Sky Island. That said, I'm still not 100% sure if I want to stick with Sky Island. Uh, part of me definitely wants to because it's kind of, you know, it, it's cool. Uh, and you know something unique however if it's fundamentally flawed then it might be a better idea to move on to and uh, use something a little bit different than sky Island. those are the options let me know what you guys think that being said enjoy the development log <laughs> or the time lapse of me spending four days writing an algorithm <laughs> uh, and i will catch you guys in the next video all right take care guys enjoy
there we go. That was relatively easy to do. <laughs> I was expecting this to go on for a while, not gonna lie, but I've seemed to have nailed it first try. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with that. There's no way I did that first try. Okay, well, <laughs> okay. let's see if I can uh, maybe decrease or increase this. We'll uh, increase the decrease. Yeah, let's decrease it. <laughs> I was expecting the um. Okay, well. So for those who have stuck around this long, uh, I guess you just want to see how the marching cubes sort of algorithm works. Basically, we have this giant table, which if you know anything about marching cubes, you basically know what this does. Uh, each sort of number here is a edge of a cube, all this, and it basically goes, goes around generating cubes, cubes everywhere. Each um, and then it does this using this. And then it generates has a data. Each cube um, generates a data. Each cube generates a data. Each cube generates a data. That's kind of like the most general rundown I could give to um someone who has never seen marching cubes before so if you guys did again want to see more detail on how this works or maybe even a tutorial series um or maybe just a little video video i'm happy to do something like that so just let me know in the comments and we can make that happen thanks for watching this one guys i'll catch you in the next one take care and peace